Are y'all missing Daikon and Ruth? Wait, hold, hold up. D did I just say Daikon and Ruth? I, I meant to say Beggar Man and the Nameless Photographer Woman. Now, Lenny Thomas and Melissa L. Williams, the stars of Ruthless, team up for the upcoming crime titled Beggar Man, written and directed by Frankie Montero. Now, Lenny and Melissa are taking us along with them into this crime genre, as Lenny portrays a homeless Iraq veteran nicknamed Beggar Man, where he discovers a suitcase filled with money from the 1970s with the hopes of a second chance at life, but danger constantly around him. He seeks help from a local gangster. Now, again, this is a film written and directed by a one Frankie Montero, a filmmaker from Yonkers, New York, best known for writing and directing personal independent films in New York City. His unorthodox fun and gun style of filmmaking has become a trademark. He studied acting at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting in the Evening Conservatory. This experience has led him to become an actor's director. He is not one for rules when it comes to filmmaking and believes in humanizing the art form. Now, well, I, I can't say that Mr. Montero also believes in casting some of the best upcoming talent in film and television. Both Lenny and Melissa are well studied, right? Well, I know that Lenny is. Not sure about Melissa, but as long as she's been the star of Ruthless and working for Tyler Perry Studios, yeah. <laughs> she's definitely well studied enough, right? Now, we're used to seeing Melissa and Lenny whispering behind the highest back, right? In the punishment trailer, doing the nasty. But what are they doing in a crime movie? Well, the writer-director says that this, and I quote, the recent state of my beloved city of New York pushed me to write a script about its current struggles and dangers. Speaking to multiple homeless veterans and hearing their stories inspired me to make the main character one, along with my wild imagination of the city's past. I came up with this story. My love for the 1970s and the 1990s cinema plays a huge part in the atmosphere. My DP and I created a Neo New York, New York, <laughs> a Neo New York, New York. Wow. Try saying that three times. <laughs> A Neo New York, New York thriller that deals with PTSD and domestic violence. It was important for me to tackle the subject of reckless violence as well. It's something that scares me as we see it not only happening here in America, but all across the world. I wanted to show my quote unquote New York in this film and what I grew up around. The out of bureau neighborhoods, the late night subway rides, the crime. For me, directors like Martin Scorsese and Spike Lee inspired me to be the filmmaker that I am today, telling personal New York stories while shedding light on important subject matters. Hmm, that's all very, very interesting. So I really can't wait to see this. Now, we all know that Ruthless just wrapped its fourth season and we're patiently awaiting its return. Some of us think that that was the end of Ruthless and that they won't be returning. And then some of us think that they will be returning. And here's why. There's a recent Instagram reel from Elder Mother herself thanking fans for all of their support of the show and then advising to stay tuned, dot, dot, dot. Stay, stay tuned for what? What's the dot, dot, dot? What's that, Elder Mother? Then we see this Deadline article informing us that Tyler Perry gets nine series all slighted in this new re-up deal with BET Media Group, which includes Sistus and The Oval for sure. That's the headline, but there's no mention of Ruthless at all. Or is it? Hmm, maybe you should check out this next video.